Welcome space enthusiasts, in the vast expanse of the universe, there exists one of the most cataclysmic events known to mankind, the demise of a massive star dwarfing our own sun in size. When such a colossal star exhausts its nuclear fuel and reaches the end of its life, it unleashes a spectacular phenomenon known as a supernova. This extraordinary event is marked by a powerful explosion of unimaginable scale, destructive on a level almost beyond human comprehension. Some supernovae are so intense that they can be observed with the naked eye from Earth. The scientific community, for a long time, believed it comprehended the intricacies of this cosmic occurrence. However, recent breakthroughs in research have overturned conventional wisdom, revealing not one but two previously unknown types of supernovae. The inquiry into the potency of a supernova and its potential to obliterate Earth is a fascinating journey that promises surprising revelations. Stars, akin to our Sun, radiate brilliance due to the process of thermonuclear fusion, wherein light atoms in their cores fuse to create heavier atoms. Eventually, all stars deplete their essential raw materials for fusion. When this transpires, and the star possesses sufficient mass, it undergoes a cataclysmic explosion, birthing a supernova. The first documented encounter with a supernova date back to 185 AD when Chinese astronomers were perplexed by the sudden appearance of a peculiar guest star in the night sky. This enigmatic star persisted in the firmament for eight months, marking humanity's inaugural observation of a supernova. Subsequent sightings on Earth include a remarkably bright explosion in Lapus in 1006 AD, outshining even Venus and visible during daylight hours. The most recent supernova visible to the naked eye was Supernova 1987A in 1987 prompting the question of whether we are on the cusp of witnessing another such event. To provide a glimpse into the past, the Hubble telescope captured the image of a supernova in the spiral galaxy NGC 2525, situated 70 million light-years away, with observations spanning from February 2018 to 2019. Traditionally, two types of supernovae were acknowledged, type 1a, resulting from the explosion of a white dwarf in a binary system, and type 2 arising from the collapse of a massive star's iron core. However, recent discoveries have broadened this understanding. A team of scientists from UC Santa Barbara identified a new type of supernova, an electron capture supernova, located 31 million light-years away in the galaxy NGC 2146, utilizing the Las Cumbers Observatory. Moreover, astronomers stumbled upon another novel variety of supernova while scrutinizing data from the Very Large Array Sky Survey in 2017. Astonishingly, this supernova was triggered by a black hole colliding with a massive star, leading to a collision-induced explosion, an unprecedented observation. For those intrigued by the velocity of particles emanating from supernova explosions, NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory tracked debris from a supernova witnessed by Johannes Kepler in 1604. Even after more than 400 years, the remnants hurtle through space at over 32 million kilometers per hour, an astounding speed exceeding 25,000 times the speed of sound. Now, armed with insights into these potent stellar explosions, one might ponder the hypothetical scenario of Earth being ensnared in a supernova blast. The explosion of our Sun as a supernova would not annihilate the entire Earth but would scorch and vaporize the side facing the Sun elevating temperatures 15 times hotter than the sun's surface. The sudden decrease in the sun's mass would disrupt Earth's orbit, propelling it into space. Fortunately, the sun lacks the requisite mass to undergo a supernova. However, contemplating the explosion of a neighboring star within 30 to 50 light years raises concerns. Such an event could unleash X-rays and gamma rays, annihilating the ozone layer and potentially ionizing atmospheric nitrogen and oxygen resulting in vast quantities of smog-like nitrous oxide. The repercussions on marine life, including phytoplankton and coral reefs, could be devastating, causing mass extinctions across various species. While Earth has not directly encountered the waves of a supernova, evidence on our planet suggests that the entire solar system has traversed the debris fields of a supernova in its ancient history. The presence of iron-60, a radioactive isotope of iron on the ocean floor indicates our solar system's journey through a supernova's remnants over the past 33,000 years, creating the local bubble. As for the prospect of witnessing a Milky Way supernova in the next 50 years, 
individuals in the Southern Hemisphere have a 20 to 50 percent chance of observing such an event with the naked eye. Betelgeuse, a colossal star in the Orion constellation, is a potential candidate for a supernova, but its distance of 724 light years places it well beyond the supernova kill range. Notably, Betelgeuse's explosive display, if it occurs, promises a celestial spectacle, casting intense light comparable to a full moon, even visible during daylight. However, this event poses no threat to life on Earth, as it lies far outside the danger zone. The only potential impact would be on animals using the moon for navigation due to an additional bright celestial object in the sky, if Betelgeuse defies expectations and refrains from exploding within our lifetimes. There remains the prospect of witnessing a naked eye nova in Cygnus the Swan. Two orbiting stars in this constellation are accelerating towards a merger, anticipated around the year 2022, offering a rare visual spectacle for observers, especially through telescopes. This exploration into the realm of supernovae, from their awe inspiring origins to potential impacts on Earth, serves as a testament to the continual revelations of the cosmos. As we gaze towards the heavens, we are reminded of the intricate dance of celestial bodies and the captivating mysteries that await our exploration. We hope you relished this cosmic journey, and we invite our viewers to share their preferences for future explorations in the comments. Thank you for accompanying us on this celestial odyssey.